Yeah, well, first of all, I'm Stephen Downs, and I work at the National Research Council of Canada, and I'm based in Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada, which, if you don't know, is on the East Coast near the Atlantic Ocean, which is a lot colder than here. <laughs> and uh, way back when, in prehistory, like the 1990s, I was teaching at a place called Grand Prairie Regional College, which is up in northern Alberta. And uh, it, was a, it was a real nice opportunity for me. It was just a one-year you know, one, uh, sessional appointment. I went up, logic, philosophy in the environment, modern philosophy, ethics, you know. Uh, and I had a bunch of logic classes. And one of the things I, I focused on was informal logic. And you know, it's hard to teach informal logic because people don't always get informal logic that well. And I created for them something called Stephen's Guide to the Logical Fallacies. And it was kind of a neat way of getting people to be able to recognize a logical fallacy when they saw it, and then have sort of some sort of idea of how to approach it. So I produced this thing and you know printed, I don't know, 50, 100 copies of them, gave them out to the students. They all loved it, and that's wonderful. Uh, a little while later, a few years later, I got a job working at Assiniboine Community College in Manitoba. And my job there it was distance education and new instructional media design specialist, a title that should have warned me about what to expect. But basically what I was supposed to do is move the college to the internet. And I needed to demonstrate that this was possible. This is 95. People didn't even think you could put a course online or anything like that. So I dredged up my old guide to the logical fallacies I digitized that, which wasn't too hard, and I created a series of HTML web pages, put it up, Stephen's Guide to the Logical Fallacies, the Light of Reason is here, and posted it online. It became hugely popular, still probably my most popular website ever. Anyhow, time goes by, years go by. Uh, I posted it in 95, 2000, no, 99, 2000. Now I'm working at the University of Alberta. I'm on a two year term position doing a thing called Muni Mall, great project, nothing to do with logic or fallacies or anything like that. 2001, term is ending, I'm sort of scouting around for a job, not sure where I, I get this email out of the blue. A philosophy professor from Melbourne, Australia, has seen my guide to the logic of fallacies. He's putting philosophy courses online. Would I come to Australia for a three month fellowship to help him work on this? So I thought about this deeply and seriously for about three seconds and then said, absolutely, love to do it. You know, I looked him up, made sure he really existed and all that. And then based on the email exchange, I flew down to Melbourne. There I met him. I, I've got this, this little room at Trinity College uh, at the University of Melbourne. I'm there for three months. Uh, I meet a bunch of Australians. I got involved in the Australian uh, flexible learning community. I go to Tasmania. It's like a whole world opens up for me. And I come back and I get this job offer to work for the National Research Council. One of the criteria is international experience, which I've just had because of this. So this three-month stint at the University of Melbourne that I got which completely created a career for me, I got strictly and solely because in 1995, I took something neat that I had written for my college course, put it online, and made it available to the world.